Uh, so I'm Anders Sandberg and I've been involved with transhumanism for ages. Uh, I really got interested back almost at the late 80s when I started thinking about the f long term future of uh, humanity in the universe. And I wanted to figure out, okay, how can we make sure that we survive and get out in space? How can we develop these cool technologies? And then I came across the internet and found other people interested in the same question. So we started networking. I started writing, uh, debating, setting up organizations. And in the long run, well, I ended up here in Oxford at the Future of Humanity Institute. So the Future of Humanity Institute, uh, our remit is to look at the long-term big picture uh, issues facing humanity. Not just the fi next five or 10 years, but the next 500 or million or trillion years. What can we do to improve our, the fate of our species, both in terms of making sure that we actually survive and also that we thrive, that we could develop ourselves. So we study things like emerging technologies that could change the human condition. We also study questions about what can we say about the future, because we know historically that predictions about the future seldom work out very well. So what can we do to have better foresight? Uh, so we're part of something called the Oxford Martin School. So this is an interdisciplinary uh, group that is trying to solve the big problems facing humanity this century. So there is an institute for stem cells, for nanotechnology, for law and ethics and you name it. And we're working together to try to face this. So we're part of a side that deals with the deep philosophical questions. Where should we be going? Can we figure that one uh, out? Uh, are there threats that nobody else is studying that we ought to be studying? So one of the things we're doing is just thinking about future technologies, both what we could do and thinking about how we can think better about it. Can we predict technologies? Are there ways of slowing dangerous technologies or speeding up beneficial technologies? Are there better ways of figuring out what technologies we should be doing this for? So we're really trying to kind of create a better science of thinking about the big and far future. Short-term thinking is a bit like uh, talking about how one bird in a hand is uh, worth 10 in the forest. You're certain about the near future. and We're fairly good at thinking about near future things. So that means that we have a kind of near mode of thinking. This is going to be about me. This is going to be about uh, my family. Then you have the far stuff. That's entertainment. So most people don't care very deeply about what's going to happen in a century, which of course means that they're going to allow themselves to make very sloppy predictions and uh, actually make up things as we go along. Many people regard the future as a part of entertainment. Uh, many companies uh, invite futurists to speak and everybody feel like they have learned something, but in the end it's mostly, it could have been a comedian coming in anyway. If you actually realize that, well, uh, the future is enormous, there is a lot of value or threat out there, it's actually worth quite a lot, then things change. Now you really want to get every scrap of information you can get about the future and plan for it. So the problem is most people when you tell them that oh we're, we're working with the far future, they say robots or the jetpacks, but that's kind of short-term things. Uh, literally we've been thinking about what do we do in, in intergalactic space as the galaxies run away because of expansion of the universe. That turns out to have some interesting ethical com complications that might affect what choices we should be making right now. Worrying a bit that our species might actually create conditions where we're going to evolve into something that we definitely today would say is horrendous. Well, that might actually lead to policy we should be implementing today. So I think quite a lot of the, the big future stuff is useful because it helps us set our course towards the future, which is of course a practical near-term thing too. If disasters are likely, then maybe we should be a bit more cautious with certain technologies. If the potential for some technology is enormous, maybe we should focus far more. And we need to tell politicians and other decision makers that they're actually allocating the resource in the wrong way.